What's going on, party people? Unless you've been living under a rock, or you just subscribed, I am reviewing one flavor of G Fuel every single week until I have reviewed them all. This week, we are reviewing PewDiePie. Before we get into this review, I want to remind you that you can use code DANNYD to save 10 to 30% off at checkout at gfuel.com. Now this code works on everything. A new pink drip flavor is getting ready to ship as well as the Floor Gang PewDiePie reskin. Now I also just did a review last week on Snow Cone, which I honestly think is one of the best starter flavors for somebody who's never had G Fuel before. If that interests you, go check out that video. Well, wait till you're done watching this one first because my other suggestions are my top three, Wampa Fruit, PewDiePie, and Ice Shatter. Now let's get to the review. First, I wanna show you up close, this is an unopened container of PewDiePie. 40 servings, 150 milligrams of caffeine per scoop. Here are the nutrition facts. Now we're going to switch over to our open container. I'm saving this one for later, baby. Now I've always thought the design for this container is just sick, dude. Obviously it's PewDiePie's design and colors. It's lingonberry, which I don't know what that is. I just know it kind of looks like cherries. As you can see, it is a white powder. There's some little like black specks in there. Smells like a sweet berry. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to take a scoop of this bad boy and put it into this sexy winter white shaker. Already got the 16 ounces of water. Already got the ice, cause I'm prepared, baby. This is one of my favorite shakers, by the way. I love the see-through shakers. I like being able to see how much I got left, you know? All right, we got our full scoop of G Fuel. Notice I took off the funnel. Some people don't realize you can take that funnel off. If you fill that funnel up all the way, that's too much powder. All right, and boom. Right away, you can see it's starting to turn red. And now I'm going to go get my G Fuel shaking expert to shake this up. Hello. <laughs> all right, G Fuel shaking expert, shake this bad boy up. This is PewDiePie. Yeah, PewDiePie. Shake. Woo, yeah, shake. Good job, buddy. What were you doing today? G Fuel? Shake a G Fuel? Yeah. What about eating cheeseburgers? You eat any cheeseburgers today? Yeah. How many cheeseburgers? Just one? Yeah. Just one? Hey, two. Yeah, that's two. two. Yeah. Shake that up enough? Is that good? Yeah. That's good? That's All right. good. Thank you for shaking the G Fuel. Bye. All right, little man. Oh, go eat some more cheeseburgers. All right, now that my G Fuel expert has shaken this up, Shooken? Shake? Shook? He shook it, and now it's mixed, okay? We will now taste the G Fuel. Pinky up. We're fancy here. So like I said, this is my number two flavor. I, for one, like red berries, like strawberries, cherries, uh, raspberries. I'm not big into blackberries, blueberries, grape, stuff like that. Now, there is a sour cherry flavor, which I have not had the powder, but I've had the can. And that is more of a solid cherry flavor with some sourness. So I actually just looked it up and lingonberry is kind of like a cranberry. So now that I know that, I get that. This is kind of like a cran, like a sweet cranberry, almost cherry flavor. It is the perfect balance of sweetness and tartness. I swear, every time I have PewDiePie, and Wampa Fruit, I just like the flavors more. See, Ice Shatter was my number two last time I mentioned my top three, but I've actually, upon drinking that more, I feel like I do get kind of tired of it faster. I felt like my love for Ice Shatter just wasn't as great as it was with PewDiePie. Now, as far as score goes, Wampa Fruit to me is a 10 out of 10. That's about as good as it gets. I would give this a solid 9.5 or a nine if you're strict about it. I do find myself going for the Wampa Fruit more than I do this since Wampa Fruit came out. I do find Wampa Fruit to be more refreshing than this flavor. Now I'd describe Ice Shatter as kind of refreshing as well. This not so much. You get that tartness and it kind of just, it distracts from the sweetness. But I will definitely say that this is staying in the number two spot. They're really gonna have to amaze me for something else to take that number two or number one spot. I think Wampa Fruit and PewDiePie are gonna be my top two for a very long time. Now, what I will say is that if you're going for a berry flavor, I highly suggest you either pick up Bobby Boys and Berry or PewDiePie. If you're like me, you like either the red berries or either like the darker berries. The Bobby Boys and Berry is like a blackberry mixed with a little bit of grape. And this is kind of like cranberry mixed with a little bit of cherry. So with the new PewDiePie reskin that just came out, I hope that this review helps you decide whether you want to pick that up or not. Again, code Danny D, baby. Support the content. 
gets you a discount. I will be doing the Pink Drip review as soon as I get my hands on it, and you'll see that on this channel, unless it shows up during my 24-hour stream. Which, speaking of that, this Saturday, starting at 9 a.m. Pacific, I'm doing a 24-hour stream celebrating 1 million followers on TikTok, my 25th birthday, 25k on YouTube, and most likely 100k on Twitch, right? Like 99.1k right now. So big 24-hour stream. We'll be giving away some G Fuel. I'm going to be watching the UFC fights, playing a bunch of video games. I hope to see you there. Now, I am thinking of reviewing Wampa Fruit next week since that is my number one flavor and I've been getting a lot of questions about it lately. So most likely expect that one next week. That's going to be it for this review. As always, have a good one. Stay safe and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.